Welcome everybody to another installment of the Functional Fitness video series. My name is Shannon Orndorff. And I'm Heidi Hebner. And today we're going to talk about stretching. Heidi, why is stretching so important? It's a very good question, Shannon. Stretching is vital to the overall physical fitness of a firefighter because of the flexibility it will give your joints and muscles. One of the leading causes of firefighter or fire ground injury is strains and sprains. What we're going to do today is take you through a stretching routine starting at the top of the body and going down to the feet. All these stretching exercises first will be done standing and then the second set of stretching exercises will be done sitting on the mats or laying on your back. So let's get started. First thing we're going to talk about is the neck. So Heidi is demonstrating just a relaxed position with her hands on her hip. She's going to take the neck and she's going to start moving it in a counterclockwise motion from shoulder to shoulder. She's going to do this for approximately 10 rotations. Then she's going to switch going to the other side. Next, let's move down to our shoulders. Heidi, would you kindly narrate? I will. A couple different ways to move your shoulders. The first thing you want to do is lubricate the joint. The shoulder is a synovial joint, so the more you move it, which Shannon's going to do by, by doing forward rotations, the more you move that joint, the more fluid that gets into it and it becomes lubricated. Now, He's going to switch and do that same motion in reverse. Once you've done 10 rotations in each direction, then what he's going to do is stretch the shoulder muscle. So he's going to take his arm, point it straight out in front of him, pull it over across his chest, take his other arm, press against the elbow, and just in a light press, he's stretching these muscles right here. You don't need to apply too much pressure to this in order to feel a good stretch in your shoulder muscles. Next, we're gonna talk about stretching the tricep muscle. Okay, Heidi, if you could just take the relaxed position again. <laughs> we're gonna take our arm and we're gonna face it straight up in the air. It doesn't matter if you start with the right or the left. And then we're gonna bend the arm and lightly touch the back of the neck. Bring your other arm up and grab this elbow and lightly push down until you feel the stretch along the entire length of the tricep muscle. Hold that for approximately a count of 10 and then switch. Gently ease off that arm, left arm will go straight up in the air, bend down, touch the small of the neck, right arm comes up, touches the elbow and lightly press down for a count of 10. Thank you, Heidi. Let's talk about the chest next. Let's do it. The chest is a, is a very large muscle. There are a couple different ways to stretch the chest. The, the most basic way that you can do alone is to open your arms. And basically what you're gonna try to do is point your fingers towards the wall behind you. And Shannon's gonna demonstrate that. That opens up the chest area. If you need more of a challenge here, you can have a partner come behind you, grab your hands, and slightly pull them together. Okay, let's move on down to the abdominal wall. We can't get the entire abdominal wall from the standing position, so what we're gonna try to hit is the oblique part of the abdominal wall, which, in simply put, is the side of the abdominal wall. So what I'm gonna ask Heidi to do once again is get that relaxed position, hands on the hip. We're gonna take our right arm and we'll put it straight up over. Now, there is some discussion about whether to leave the left hand on the hip or point it down towards the ground. For today's exercise, what I'm gonna ask Heidi to do is allow that left arm to just hang lightly down by the side with the fingers pointed down to the ground. She's going to lightly lean to the left while stretching out the entire latissimus dorsus of the back and the obliques of the abdominal wall. We're gonna hold that stretch for a count of 10, and then we're simply going to reverse the process to the other side. Okay, moving right on down the line now, let's talk about the hip flexors and their importance. The hip flexors are responsible for a wide range of motion in, in the waist area. So in order to stretch that, what Shannon's gonna do is he's gonna place his hands on his lower back, thumbs into the lumbar region, and he's gonna bend back, stretching his hip flexors. All right, so what we're gonna do next is hamstrings. Okay, the hamstrings are one of the most commonly injured parts of the body in the fire service. And because that is, is they get tight. If you, don't stretch those, if you don't stretch those muscles, they have a tendency to either tear 
or get pulled because we do a lot of bending and we do a lot of heavy lifting in the fire service. So what Heidi's going to demonstrate now is how to do a proper hamstring stretch. Now there's many, many variations to this stretch, but we're just going to demonstrate the most simple one. So Heidi, if you could please, all I want you to do is put your feet shoulder width apart and we're going to interlock our hands and turn them out like this. Very simple. And now trying to keep the back straight, not curved, but straight, we're going to slowly bend down to the ground. As we exhale, we try to push ourselves down even further. We do not, however, want to bounce. We want to have a nice steady motion pushing down towards the ground. We want to hold this for a count of 10, constantly trying to get lower and lower to the ground to efficiently stretch out the hamstrings. All right, thank you, Heidi. Next, let's talk about the calves. There are a variety of ways to stretch your calf muscles. What Shannon's gonna do is he's going to take one step back with his right leg. Now, all he needs to do to stretch that right calf muscle is lean forward in a low lunge, lifting his heel off the floor, and back down slowly. Hold that for five to 10 seconds and then switch sides. Okay, next we're gonna work on ankle rotations. And, and ankle, there, an ankle is a common site of injury for athletes, firefighters, and, and the general public even. One reason for that is because we don't stretch out that area enough. Okay, this is a very simple exercise. You either need something to lean on or use your partner to lean on. Now the ankle is not necessarily a muscle but there are a lot of tendons and ligaments down there and we want to make sure that we properly stretch those parts of the body out. So what I'm going to do is let Heidi actually lean on my shoulder with her right hand and she's going to take her right leg and she's going to extend it out and she's going to keep that heel about three to four inches above the ground and then just very simply she's going to rotate her entire ankle and foot in a clockwise motion about five to ten times. Just like all the other stretching exercises after that she'll then rotate to the opposite direction. Let's move over to the left ankle and repeat the process, clockwise and counterclockwise. Thank you, Heidi. Now, those were pretty much the very simple stretches done from the standing position. What we're going to do now is transition down to the mat and show you a variety of stretches that are even done from a sitting position or from a lying down position, either on your stomach or your back. 